with ClickOrlando.com. This is News 6 Mornings at 6, getting results. Now on News 6 Mornings, new details months after a teen died after falling off a local ride. We're live with what an autopsy shows and how it could affect legal action. New details months after a teen's deadly fall at Icon Park. An autopsy now shows 14-year-old Tyree Sampson weighed nearly 100 pounds more than the weight limit for the free fall ride. This morning, an attorney for Sampson's family is reacting to the medical examiner's report. Our Enzi Castro is live at Icon Park this morning. Enzi, the teen's family is suing multiple companies now. That's right. Tyree Sampson's parents filed a negligence lawsuit against multiple businesses involved with the ride. And we spoke to one of their attorneys who says this autopsy report shows the exact data they need for their case. This is yet another difficult reminder of the horrible and unnecessary death that Tyree suffered. We are learning new details this morning about the death of 14-year-old Tyree Sampson, who fell from the freefall ride at Icon Park in March. An autopsy report just released shows the teen weighed 383 pounds. And according to the manual for the freefall ride, the maximum weight is 286 pounds. New 6 spoke to Sampson's mother's attorney, Kimberly wall last night. He never should have been allowed on that ride. And if he never was on that ride, he would be with us here today. So it's extremely important that we now have the exact data, the exact information. The autopsy report also comes after state investigators found the seat that Samson was sitting on had the sensors modified to allow for larger riders. And that likely played a role in his death. So the report also stated Samson's death was ruled accidental and was caused by blunt force trauma. Meantime, attorney Wald said that Samson was actually supposed to walk in his eighth grade graduation last week. We're going to have that part of the story ahead at 630. Live at Icon Park, Ezzy Castro getting results, News 6.